everyone, it's Beaching Nails. Are you guys ready to do a test with me together? We're gonna find out if this works or if it doesn't. I was sitting here thinking we're all doing the smush and twist, but all of us that are doing it, we're all stampers. We have stampers. What about those other people who are watching YouTube videos who don't know what stamping is, who don't wanna wait for the mail to get it? What at home can you use? And there's other products that I still want to try, such as an eraser, if I can find one that's soft enough. Anything but an actual nail stamper, I want to try. This is a marshmallow. Why wouldn't it work? It's squishy. Actually, these ones have been in my cabinet, so I'm not going to use the ends because I think a little bit of it's going to come, out, come off. So I'm going to be testing it along the side right here. But I'm gonna to try to see what would happen. I have a swatch stick here, painted white. And let's, let's just give it a go. Let's see what happens. This is how my mind thinks. How else can you do it? And again, not everybody's a stamper. And just because they're not into nail stamping, you know, I want them to be able to cash in on this cool, easy, fun way to create an amazing Manny, too. So we got a bunch of nail polish down here. White. I've got funky fingers. I think this is high voltage. And I'm just going to add some random blobs of polish here and there. We've got this purple, which is Sophia, fresh paints, just some random spots. Don't know if this is going to work. This can be a complete fail, but hey, add some blue. Oh, that's a lot of blue. Huh. Two videos in one. What do you do? Drop some white in there. Dilute that sucker down. Problem solved. Looks like I need a little bit more pink, so there you go. All right, here's the final moment. Here's the swatch stick. Now I wanna zoom in, but I wanna zoom out. I wanna zoom out so you guys can really see what's going on here. Got my marshmallow here. And I'm not using my ends, remember, because I told you I think they're, the marshmallow is very dried out and it's kind of crumbly. And I don't want it to make a mess and this is sticking to the fake nail and all that. So I'm just going to use what's smooth, and that's the side. So in the polish it goes. Twist. Amazing. It looks the same. Look at that. It's not absorbing in. It actually looks really, really cool, you guys. Press it in. Roll it. Holy cow. That's a marshmallow. I can't wait until that dries. I wonder, is it going to dry like that? This is me. This is what I do. I always mess with it more. Add a little bit here. Let's go over it again. Now, what I want to see, let's see if I get this camera going the right way here, is... Looking for some uh, black backing or white backing, so you guys can kind of focus in on the nail here. You see that? I wonder if those little tiny holes, if that's going to stay gapped, is that going to smear in when we top coat? Oh no! Now we got to let this sucker dry. Now I'm going to go run and raid my daughter's uh, drawers and pull out some erasers. Do you imagine? I mean, you get little shapes and stuff like that. I'm telling you guys, the possibilities are endless. And this is only not just for nail stamping. This is, you know, for anybody else. And, I mean, shoot, it's a marshmallow. Use it and throw it out. Easy as that. Stay tuned, because when this dries, we're going to top coat it together. Okay, so we're back. And I'm just going to use fresh paints for a top coat. Now, even when you top coat a smush and twist or just a smush or even, you know, a gradient mani, whatever it is with multiple layers of polish, you know, it is going to blend it in together some. So I know I'm not going to have this full separation here. 
because I did use nail polish too. So I'm going to move my marshmallow and my wax paper out of the way. And we're going to zoom in. That's out. There we go. And I'm going to put some photos of this at the end of the video too. Uh, taking it with the camera. Hopefully I can capture more than what the camcorder's seeing because all I see is really shiny right now. Now I'm sure if my marshmallow was fresh, I may not have. Sorry, I can't top coat with it flat. I'm sure if my marshmallow was fresher, it may not have so many of those marks in it, but you know, those marks can be to my advantage too. Can't even see how much top coat I have on there, but it looks good. All right. Can you see it good yet in there? A lot against black. And so far, for me analyzing it, actually, it looks really cool. I'm gonna do this on my actual nails with a real marshmallow. And here's my marshmallow. And I can use all the other sides. I can even use that side too. I mean, it's... Yeah, I just took a bite out of it. Not out of the polish part, but out of the other part of it. It's not stale, but the package wasn't, the kids didn't close the bag all the way, so you know how the outer of the marshmallow gets a little harder. Not as soft as when you first get them, but when you first get them, it's kind of powdery anyway, so I'm kind of glad it's this way. I don't have to deal with the white powder. But test one, jackpot. Test two, we'll have to practice on that one. We'll come back and we will film during test two, which will be with erasers. We're gonna try with erasers. Alrighty, you guys, thank you so much for participating and watching this little experiment. This is how my mind thinks. This is me going crazy out of the box. But you know what? For those who are not stampers and still want to get the look, we got it. You're at a friend's house. You didn't bring your nail stuff. And she's like, hey, do my nails like you did it. That was awesome. I oh, mean, I didn't bring my stuff with me. Why don't you tell me? Oh, I don't know. I was in a hurry. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, you got any marshmallows? Yeah. There you go. No more excuses. Get that chick set up. Alrighty, you guys take care. Hang time. Bye-bye.